can spend up to $20 billion to look like I did 20 years ago. But there are secrets the beauty industry does not want you to know about the anti-aging products that you buy every day. Lisa Lee Freeman is helping us. She's been doing independent testing and investigating these products. She's the editor-in-chief of Shop Smart Magazine. So why doesn't the beauty industry want us to know about these secrets? Because they want you to keep buying and trying all of these hundreds of products that they've developed and sell every year. But the truth is, is that they don't give you the dramatic results. Mm -hmm. If they gave you dramatic results and actually changed the structure of your skin, mm -hmm. they'd be drugs. They'd be regulated as drugs. They'd be prescriptions. But you can get some results. Mm -hmm. And our tests have shown over the years, you don't have to pay a lot to get results. Yeah, that message appealed to me a lot. If you can get some of the benefits you desire for a lot less money, then that's real value. So the first secret we're going to talk about are the under eye circle erasers. The hundreds of these are out in the market right now. Uh, I've got a little image. You know, who, who, who's tried some of these, by the way? These under eye circle erasers? Everybody. They're all putting their hands up like this, so sheepishly. Right? <laughs> okay. Here's the secret. The best tested circle erasers contain caffeine. Caffeine. They have to have that. Now, why is that so important? Well, first, I just want to say that most uh, under eye circles are due to genetics or allergies, and that's yeah. very difficult to treat. Mm -hmm. However, if you do get a product with caffeine in it, you have a chance at making a slight difference. Mm -hmm. For example, those bags under your eyes, uh, caffeine will these help. Are, these bags. Yes, yes those, those these bags, bags under your eyes. Uh, they uh, they help reduce water retention, mm -hmm. so that. It actually helps smooth your skin, and it also helps restrict the blood vessels in your eyes, which reduces that dark look under your eyes. So one product that has caffeine in it is uh, this particular product from MAC. It's $30. Uh, but really, what you just want to do is look for a product that advertises caffeine in it. Look for at ingredient labels. You can go online and, and find that out. And, and these are relatively affordable? Yeah. Like I said, this is 30 but if your dark circles don't go away, you should go see a dermatologist and find out if there are prescription creams that might be worth trying, or laser treatments, right. or even dermal fillers might help you. Very fair. So then yeah. if it's not working for you, it's not wasting your money. The yeah. second secret is about anti-wrinkle creams. Now, ShopSmart spent 12 weeks comparing different creams. And here's a video of some of the extensive testing that you did. And if you can, walk me through what you found. Well, we had 80 subjects, and we tested these creams for 12 weeks, which is about the time frame that the advertisements say they're going to work. Mm -hmm. And what we found is we tested creams from Eight dollars, and we in the past we've tested creams as much as four hundred dollars. Oh and what we found is spending more doesn't necessarily get you better results. Uh, this sixteen dollar cream from Garnier was our top tested cream in our last test, but you might get good results in terms of it plumps up the skin. It's going to make those fine lines less noticeable. Well, in the studies you did, did the women actually perceive differences? Yes, absolutely. Okay. but only about half of them. I got to say, if half, half the women are happy with a sixteen dollar cream. I think you're probably worth trying. Okay, the next secret is about cleansers with acids, peptides, and vitamins. Now, what, what's the secret here? Do these things really work? Well, you know, cleansers are only on your skin for like 30 seconds. Yeah. So whatever is in those cleansers isn't going to really penetrate or make a difference. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to spend money, don't spend it on a cleanser. Put that money into a good moisturizer with those ingredients. Okay. Uh, but one thing that you should think about um, is getting a, a, a cleanser that is right for your skin. For example, if you have dry skin, you don't want to get a, a, a cleanser with harsh ingredients that mm. might actually irritate your skin. By the way, this is a cleanser that did well in our test. This, oh, these Olay cleansing cloths, they're only $7, and they did just as well as products that were a lot more expensive in our tests. Yeah, I counted these up. I have 33 of these in a box. Is that right? Yep, exactly. It's not so, bad. Yeah, you take no, them home with you. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. And the next secret <laughs> is about scar eliminators. Now, who's tried scar eliminators? Yeah, about a third of the audience, probably. So what's the secret about scar eliminators? Well, they don't work, basically, because you can't turn scar tissue back to regular skin. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. You might be able to get some redness reduced by using these products, but you're not going to get a scar to turn back to regular skin. Let me show you an animation to explain why it's nearly impossible to reverse a scar uh, just with using one of these cosmetic products. Let's say you're working in the kitchen, and you're cutting some onions, and you mistakenly make a little cut in your finger. What really happens in there? Well, as those skin edges come apart, your body secretes fluids, white blood cells, all these different elements come together to provide a nutrient base in that scab for collagen to grow. Collagen is like ropes. They wind around each other, and as they grow through there, they actually literally like ropes pull together the skin. It's tough stuff. It changes color sometimes and gets slightly raised as well. It doesn't have the right amount uh, of melanin in it. It can become this big, uh, uh, you know, unattractive element, but you can't turn that back. Thousands of years of evolution just with a cosmetic cream. So what do you recommend? Talk to your dermatologist and find out about laser treatments or even plastic surgery that might be able to help you.
All right, you can go to DrOz.com to find the recommendations from ShopSmart Magazine. I'm saving the best for last, my favorite anti-aging secret from the grocery store that can help you look years younger. What could it be? Find out next.